Go crazy with the shit, ay. Cruising down 90, going 80 in the world, ay. Hey, what's going on guys, Signal here. Today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to make the effect you have just seen on screen. Now, before we get into the video, i just like to say that about half the people that are watching this video right now are actually subscribed. Uh, so if you were to do that, it would really mean a lot to me. Uh, and yeah, without further ado, let's get straight into the video. Uh, so right here, I have got my song. I have marked out all the beats. Obviously, to be able to do this effect, you're going to need a song that has a lot of beats right before, like the main kill beat. Uh, so make sure you have at least, I'd say, two for this effect to actually work. Uh, but yeah, I also have imported my clip right here. So what you want to do to start off is actually count the amount of edits you make before the kill. Uh, this will obviously be a lot, a lot better when you have an edit course. It pretty much only works when you have an edit course before the kill. Uh, so yeah, just make sure to get a clip that's like that. So as you can see, we have a bunch of edits right here before the kill. Uh, and what we now want to do is just count backwards how many edits we actually make. So right here, we have one two three four and five right there and as you can see we have five beats before the kill so on the fifth edit right here we want to go ahead and just line that up with the first beat. you can go and fill that out uh so what you actually want to do here is just to go ahead and sync the first beat up with the frame before the uh the tiles go blue so do that and then just go and fill it out don't worry if the kill is not synced yet it will be uh very very soon so now just go into certain moment of velocity just go ahead and double click here go one two three four five frames back double click here and go one two three four five frames forward now go ahead and drag this up to 363 and just make sure that on this last frame, there should be no part of the edit left. Uh, and as you can see, we're gonna uh, we're just going to want to set this to 50. And then just make sure that, uh, as you can see, there's no part of the edit left. Now just go to the next beat. Just go uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 frames backward. Add a keyframe on the marker as well. Go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 forward. Uh, now this next uh, edit is quite far away. So what we actually want to do here is just click on this last uh, part right here and just make sure that there's nothing left of the edit. So that changes here uh, and we just want this to be on 682. Uh, now just go ahead and do this for the next one. One, two, three, or fuck, one, one, two, three, four, five, six, just like that. And I'm just gonna do it like randomly up here because it doesn't really matter. Or you don't have to be exact, but just make sure you're reasonably close. Uh, and we're gonna do that. So now, right here, just make sure there's no part of the edit left. So that's going to be on, like, set to 350, let's say, just to be even. Uh, now, for this next one, we have already started the edit. So go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 backwards. And 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 forward. Uh, now, for this, it's going to be a bit, you know, kind of small. So just set that to, like, 200. Uh, because uh, it's actually very, very close to this first edit. It was rather quick. Uh, now you can just do this for the last one. So one, two, three, four, five. Uh, double click here and double click on the last one. And right here we just drag that up. That'll be 450. And now for the kill, what you want to do is just double click on the kill marker right here. Go one, two, three, four, five, six frames backward. Double click here and drag this up all the way to I'd say 1,000 probably. Now go one, two frames forward. Actually, go three frames forward and set it to 50. Uh, now, if it doesn't quite turn blue, uh, or if it doesn't quite shoot the uh, the bullet on the actual main impact, we're going to want to drag this a couple frames backwards. So just go ahead and head two frames backwards once again. That'll make it a distance of eight. And just make sure that we actually do get the impact where it's supposed to be. Now, if we just go and play it back, it should look somewhat good. Uh, we'll see. just like that um, now as you can see uh, we, we are struggling a bit with the actual impact here so what we can do is just set this to 300 which will just speed up the entire thing essentially and it'll make us be closer to the uh, to the the actual kill so let's just set this to 350 uh, and we'll drag up whatever we can essentially uh, so just drag everything up by a slight bit if the impact doesn't quite work just like that, and we can go ahead and see if this fixes it. Just like that. Now, this is 
still very very quick but as you can see we can decrease that to only 700 which is still very very good that looked a lot better so now what we actually need to do is just go ahead and split this track on all of the markers just like that now you can go ahead and just apply your beat shake to all of these i'm gonna go ahead and apply my main beat shake there main beat shake there and obviously this will be in my pack however i do have some uh beat shakes from my previous tutorials linked in the description uh, obviously if you have a better one yourself just go ahead and use that uh and yeah and then at the end here i just apply my main impact click ok and we should be good to go if i go ahead and pre-render this uh it should look just it should look pretty good yes it does just for like a finishing touch i guess i can just go ahead and add a uh sort of like a uh, a gun sound i guess just to be sort of a bit uh fuck what was i about to say i i don't remember whatever uh let's just add it there and we should be done And there we go, essentially, that's going to be the entire effect, it's very easy to make, and you can obviously apply this to all sorts of different things. Uh, so yeah, that's going to be it for today's video, thank you guys so, so much for watching, if you did enjoy, make sure to like down below, comment, subscribe, all the good shit, and I'll see you guys in a couple days, buy me out of pack, and peace.